The Velocity Fest promised quite a lot since the announcement of entries, and it did deliver. The men's 200 meters, which was the main event of the show, gave us something quite special when Oblique Seville, in the third 200 meter race of the afternoon and his first 200 meter race in three years, dropped a crazy fast 20.17 seconds to set his name as world leader in the 200 meter event. Oblique Seville with the advantage. Look at him stuttering from the rest of the field. Clark battling for second, but Oblique Seville. To do this in his first 200 meter race for so long, as well as in March, proves a couple of things. The first is that he will be much harder to defeat in the 100, because with such strong finish it could take off a few vital hundredths of a second later this season. Also, he could become a contender in the 200 if he decides to invest in the half lap event in the coming months or years. Seville did end the night with the fastest time, but there were others who put on impressive runs. Akeem Blake got a massive personal best too, lowering his 20.83 to 20.45, and for someone who is known mostly as a starter, that is a strong indication of what his speed is now. Jarnell Hughes, who was favored to leave the event with the fastest time, only dropped 20.40 seconds, the second fastest of the night, while Watson could only hold on to fourth in his race, posting a time of 20.84 seconds. So Oblique Seville might have laid his claim as the best sprinter in the country, hands down, because he was the man who started the resurrection in the 100 meters, is looking to push for a comeback in the 200 meters as well. And these performances tonight shows it's quite possible.